So you're probably familiar with the fact that uh, there's this COVID-19 update uh, required for small businesses. And I think under these uh, circumstances, we're all aware that it's certainly an unprecedented situation we find ourselves in for businesses. Uh, and obviously it's impacting lives as well. So it's a sad situation to find ourselves in at this time. But uh, the questions I've been asked is uh, what what's the most uh, important things to do uh, on your business website and uh, obviously if it's impacting your business um, and obviously I'm aware of the fact that there's much more important things than this uh, under these situations. So uh, first of all it's interesting that Google themselves recognise they've had to limit what they can do that if you go to this area here limited functionality so you'll find that things like questions and answers and reviews and really anything that involves uh, Google staff, at the moment, most of those things are, are being prioritised with the more important businesses. So be aware that uh, most new listings and claims and verifications and Q&As and reviews are going to take some time. So there's a limited resource, which is understandable. Uh, also here, we've got this mention about letting your customers know. And that's really what we're going to look at today. So if you click on that, it takes you to hear a, a, da a complete kind of guide as to what you need to update. Uh, you may have received this guide in a different way. If you go to uh, an email you may have received and on here it just runs through some of the things you'll need to do to update your business if it's had to close due to COVID-19. So here you want to update your business hours. So if I click through to that, it will take me through to info and on info there then your hours will come up and that's just found by going to your hours here and clicking the pencil. Uh, the next one is your description so again you could just mention your description if there's any changes to the way in which your business is operating so you may want to edit this information here and you can do so and again that's just found under info and then you can click on the pencil here for that information if you haven't got that email. So that's the second one. The third one is to create a post. And this is a really a specific post for COVID-19. So this is a new update that's just come through. Whereas uh, you might write your offers or what's new or updates. Here you've got a particular COVID-19 update. So here you may mention the fact that your business is closed or you can contact uh, your business in a different way. Uh, and again, it, this will display as like a priority above other posts. So if I take you to my uh, business page here uh, in, a, in a search, you'll notice that before my posts appear, I've got this information here about COVID-19. Now, again, I'm not sure whether these things will change because uh, constantly things are changing, but that's the third area is create a post that's specific about what you can and can't do during your limited business uh, occasion. And then finally, you've got the phone number just in case you've had to change from a landline to a mobile to cover the business. Then again, just a case of updating it, or you can do that again by going into info and then just making sure that's updated correctly as well on here. So hopefully that's useful. Um, as I say, it's uh, again in the big scheme of things, um, we're just aware that at the moment there's limited functionality as is brought out by this headline here uh, within Google My Business. But if you uh, update your business with this information, it will certainly help your clients and your potential uh, business uh, uh, visitors at least know how they can contact you. And uh, hopefully businesses will be back to normal as quickly as possible within the country that you're visiting this video on. Thanks again for joining me under these difficult circumstances.